Good morning. So today, let's talk all about reflectorized thermoplastic pavement markings. So what is reflectorized thermoplastic pavement markings? So this is... <laughs> I drawn... I've already drawn it on my AutoCAD. Here it is. As you can see, um, money siyang yung nakita sa dalan. Kabatay mo ng mga pintal nga hindi mo sa dalan, pero dili nga ni color ha. Ako rin yung gilay color. But this is white color. And sometimes you can see yellow. Okay? Kabatay mo. Mugbo siya tanawon, dili nga ni siya sa reality. Pero 3 meters ni siya, 3 meters ni siya kataas. So, nindot ni siya sa actual. So, in this example, we are going to estimate the thermoplastic. This paint. This pavement markings is paid per square meter. So, we just have to calculate the area of these markings, this paint. Okay. We have here the Excel file. I've already prepared this. So, this is in the PWH, it's item 612, 1. So, 1 is the white color. So, you just have to imagine this in white. Okay. So, just bear with me. So, we have here station limit. So, how long your pavement markings. So, for example, we have here for this example from station 0 to station 126 okay example huh? so we have 126 meters okay so the length we have here we need the length but i've provided already the width it's 0.15 this 0.15 and 0.10 meter these are four separation line so this here the center is the separation line we have here four lanes okay this is where your cars run on and here these are four lanes so four lanes so the separation line is this in the center and the center lines are this here the dust lines okay and the edge line is this here so edge of the roadway so for first for the separation line length we have to as we can see here the separation line is all over the length so the length is equals 26 minus the beginning of the station it's 126 meter so we'll finish this separation line for the length 126 meters the width 0.15 meters and the unit oh. how many separation lines are there so just one abc so this is area should be t equals a times b times c so we cannot calculate the area so equals so we have to follow this uh, you don't have to follow this but let's follow this formula this a here a the length times the width b times the units for how many separation lines so this okay so that is 18.90 square meters so we ha now have the separation line for our center line let's now have the length is not the 126 meters because as you can see it is just lines so it is so just this here this colored one so that three meters and this is no paint here in this portion the six meters so the spacing of this is nine meters that's it as you can see on the screen it's nine meters on the center center to center so the length of this is just equals 
the end station minus the beginning station. Then I will have to put parenthesis here, okay, because I will divide it with 9 for the spacing. And then I will round up. I will round this up. No, not round up. That's just round to zero so that I can get the whole number. That's 14. 14. 14. But because the length is just divided in 9, the spacing, it doesn't mean it is the length already. So it just means that we have 14, not meters, but units. But because this color, this painted one is 3 meters long, so we have to multiply this with 3 meters. Okay, then that's it. So 42 meters. The width here is 0 0.15 meters. So here, the 0.15 meters. And then for the units, we have the units is 1 and 2. So 2. So for the area, you can just drag it down. And that's it. We have already A times B times C. And 12.60 square meter for our center line. And for the edge line, the edge line here, this portion is not dashed. It's so it's the same here. You can just copy control C and then control V. No, just here. Okay. 126 meters and the, for the edge we have the width 0 0.10 meter and then the units the units is 1 and 2 2 2 then drag again okay that's it so we now have all the quantity we need so for the total you can just drag it up to here and then alt equals okay that's 56.70 square meter okay we have to check it on a calculator let's check so 126 times 0.15 that's right 42 times 0.15 times 2 Check 126 time, times 0 0.1 times 2, 25. So plus 12.6 plus 11.9, that's 56.70 square meters. So that's it. So we now have the quantity of the, of our reflectorized thermoplastic pavement markings in white color. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Hope you learn a bit from this video. Sayonara!